Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Donkster of Warren Bolt Bill Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Coast Chad review from Galactica at the Alton Towers Resort. Now before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a YouTube video. Click the share button as well and share the channel around with your friends and family. Let's get to at least between 1300 and 1500 subs before the end of the year. We've got a couple of weeks yet to do it so please do that. Make sure you check the link in the description down below. A good friend of mine is doing something for charity, so make sure you go and donate. And now let's get into this review from Galactica. So, let me tell you the story first of all. So, back in the 1997 season, the New Beast closed at Alton Towers. That was a Schwarzkopf, sort of jet star coaster. It was known as the Beast, and it was known as the New Beast. Um, it was the Beast from 1988 up until 1992, and then 1993. To 1997, it was in Forbidden Valley, relocated from the Talbot Street area, and now known as the New Beast, and it closed at the end of 1997. It was replaced in 2002 by Air, which of course became Galactica later on. Now this is a b and flying coaster, Bulgur and Mabiard flying coaster, they're a Swiss manufacturer. Uh, the ride was uh, sort of... Um, plans for the area sort of came about in around August 2000, uh, in October that year, in the year 2000, the ride was approved. And then 2002, 16th of March, the ride opened to the public. Secret Weapon 5. Uh, of course, if you don't know the story about the Secret Weapons, Secret Weapons 1 and 2, they were Arrow Pipeline coasters. They weren't planned but never built. SW3, the Bulgur and Mabiard Inverter Coaster, Nemesis. The BM Dive is SW4, and that's Oblivion. Of course, Air slash Galactica SW5. SW6 was 13, that was the family the family coaster with the world's first element. Um, you have the 14 Looper Smiler, Secret Weapon 7, and of course Wicker Man Secret Weapon 8. And of course you've seen the Christmas stuff they've been putting on Twitter recently. They mentioned Secret Weapon 9 for a millisecond, so that's in the works, you never know. A couple of years time we'll see Secret Weapon 9 and then by the turn of the um, 50th anniversary in 2030 we could get Secret Weapon 10, who knows. Um, but for this one... Um, this was uh, the construction began around mid 2001, and of course, it was opened on the 16th of March 2002. Back in July 2015, plans revealed a re theme to air uh, and some new additions, including a brand, uh, including the brand new re theme, uh, and also the old air shop. Now, that was a shop with a balcony on it, the balcony was enclosed. They built a new Galactica shop uh, to the old fire exit as you come out of the air station. And then the old air shop became the brand new roller coaster restaurant. That's like your food loop at your park style thing, for those of you who don't know. That all opened in 2016 with Galactica opening uh, in the spring. And then, of course, around the summertime, you had the roller coaster restaurant opening around May time as well. Now, I really like this coaster. Not many people are fans of flying coasters. I'm a good fan of it. I won't say the biggest fan, but yeah, I do like my flying coasters here and there. Obviously not Hero. Um, the B&M ones are good. The B&M ones are really good. I think the, the restraint style is quite uh, tight, so you don't feel loose and very like a flying machine. But apart from that, I can't really see any faults with it. Um, not that it's not a bad ride. It's just not up to... To par with some of the other rides at the park, but it's still a good ride. If it's still a good ride and not to par with the other ones, then that makes the park a brilliant park. Um, one big thing off ride for me is the queue line. The queue line is a fantastic experience in itself. Um, obviously, you had the photo point about midway through the queue line as you're about to go into the station. Station had some really nice lighting upgrades, a brand new uh, play screen with like this new Eevee character is sort of displaying you. Um, about these new like space systems and sort of test flighting and things like that. Obviously, when the air for, when air first came in in 2002, right up until 2015 before the Galactica re theme, um, you know it was known as the aerial inversion ride, and it was all riding this you know aerial inversion ride through uh, the sky and flying like a bird. And of course, it had the old Capra Hero sponsorship. Um, the extended queue line wasn't used for years until Galactica's the re theme into Galactica came in 2016. And the extended queue line was brought back in as well in the opening day of Galactica. Um, I wasn't down there on the opening day of Galactica, but I do remember seeing the extended queue line being open for a lot of people. So um, you know, there's you know there's big positives there. Of course, seeing that extended queue line back up and running again. There was an extended queue line on Nemesis, if I'm not mistaken, as well. It was right near to the station as you're turning around that final turnaround to go um, 
down the last straight and heading to the station. There's like a bit of extended queue around the back that goes further back, so I'm guessing uh, not the one right at the start of the queue line, but like I said, the one as you're about to go into the station in Nemesis. Um, you know, there's an extended queue line for that as well, so it'd be good to see that opening at some point again as well. But I would like, but I think with with Galactica's extended queue line, I think the extended queue line is needed. I think Galactica is a very popular ride on peak days. Um, on peak days, it still can get the queue sometimes, but you know, it's mainly the peak days, mainly the main days of the season where uh, the ride starts to get bigger queues. So. Uh, you know, Galactica is a very popular ride at the park, and I think on ride, my favourite bit is a barrel roll, just the freedom. That's the only bit I feel like the, the restraints are quite loose on. Uh, just that barrel roll right at the end, uh, near the end of the layout, it was just fantastic. Uh, some of the turns as well, just gliding you, and then when you're on your back at the start, and then flip to your front, it's just it's just flying like a bird, really. It's same with Galactica's re theme back in 2016. It's just like riding a spaceship. It's like riding into space and just fe feeling the freedom of flight. Um, you know, so I think that's one of the main things that sort of makes this ride a fantastic attraction for me. Uh, the fact that you can fly like a bird and, you know, it, it just gives you that sensation of flight. Um, you know, and things like that. So... I think this ride is definitely a fantastic ride, and I think it's a very well put ride in the park. Um, you know, you're replacing a Schwarzkopf with a flyer. You know, it's it's not it's it's, it's easy to replace a Schwarzkopf. Not going to lie, because uh, you want something that's going to stand out. You want something for the for the new year, the technology. You got to think it's 2002. You know, it's only a couple of years after the millennium. So, you know, technology isn't as advanced as it is now, but it's advanced for its time. Um, you know, and it, it's just all about finding that right balance. Um, so I think overall, Galactica is a strong ride and a strong concept. Um, and long may it continue. I know a lot of people have said uh, Galactica should be removed at some point. I don't think it should. I think it should stay for a good, good, you know, couple of decades left now, uh, and then put something new in its place then. But for now, I think it's a really cool ride. So. Um, you know, comment down below if you if you're a big fan of Galactica. If you're not, then just share why. Just you know, politely share why you don't like Galactica and put it in the comments down below. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching this Coast Shower review. My name is Aaron Channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. And make sure you click and make sure you share the button. Share the channel around with your friends and family. Thank you very much. My name is Coast Shower. Keep on the coast alive, and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day.